Hello everyone, welcome to Paper and Moose. Thank you for joining me on this snowy day here. It's actually very pretty outside and I thought, huh, I wonder if I could go outside and do mail day. And I thought, what, are you nuts? <laughs> but it is snowing here. Winter Wonderland gets you in that Christmas spirit and it will be like Christmas because it is mail day. And I'm going to be opening a few packages from some of my amazing viewers. So if you like mail day and you like seeing all of the kindness that I receive from all over this globe, then stay tuned. So yes, welcome. If you are new to the channel, you have come to Mail Day. If mail is not your thing, I have plenty of other videos that you'll probably like from garbage picking to estate sales to auctions and to my favorite, the historical research. So you can go and take a look at those videos, but make sure that you first subscribe. This way when I put out a garbage video or an auction video, you will be in the know. Speaking of subscribers, I'm a little over 38,500, which is crazy. So thank you to all of those that have been with Paper and Moose from the beginning. And for those that have found the channel, whether through taco stacks, through just the rabbit holes of the internet, or even through Blue Bus Dave and some other YouTubers, then thank you for coming to my channel and for watching and subscribing. And for those that have stumbled upon my channel, I'm glad you did, and I hope you are too. I would love to reach 40,000 subscribers by the end of this year. That's a lot <laughs> in the few short weeks, so maybe I'll have some viral video, but with my luck lately, that's probably not going to happen. Garbage picking, besides my one-stop shops, has been pretty slim. With the snow today, I don't think people are gonna be putting out their, their wonderful treasures, but we shall see. Um, auctions, those are slowing down. Estate sales are slowing down. So hopefully, not hopefully, I will still be able to put out content for you and more videos. Sometimes I, I don't feel that my videos are the greatest probably shouldn't say that. They're great. They're wonderful. <laughs> but I just want to make sure that I'm bringing you all content that you enjoy and that you like. And some videos I like more than others and others, you know, if I don't find something stupendous, I feel like no one's going to watch. But it's not always about finding that insane item. It's about finding something that brings back a memory that can make someone happy, make them smile, or make them remember something from their childhood. So yes, if you aren't subscribed, please do so. And as always, share the channel with your friends, family, relatives, guinea pigs. I love guinea pigs, so they would probably like me too. <laughs> anyway, let's get to the mail. Thanks again to everyone that has sent mail. It is much appreciated. If I have not gotten to your package yet, do not fear, do not fret. It's in my pile and I will get to it, I promise. First up is from a, another YouTube, um, Perio or of Perio Blues. Be sure, if you love junk journals, if you love crafting, because who knows when I will finally do that, then head on over to her channel. It is P-I-R-J-O, and then the word blues. Um, she is based in Germany, and she does wonderful things with paper and all sorts of other crafts. And I have something to send you as well, so be on the lookout for that. Cute little package. Let me get my scissors. My hair is already starting to bother me. This is why I wear bobby pins. <laughs> this is why I wear bobby pins, but anyway. Oh my goodness. Let's first look at her card. Aw. She does such lovely things. Look at the snow. <laughs> I love this envelope. It's made from recycled paper, but it has a little stove has a little face on it. Four pan. Hi Renee, when I saw this, I knew it's for you. Hope you like it, it's vintage. Now, she sent this, it took like, I think two months for it to get here. 
<laughs> Maybe you'll get mine in the spring then. Oh. Oh, look how pretty. Oh, it's a flower. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Not only is the uh, outside adorable, but then look at the inside. Pam, you can see that? There's, okay. That is so cute. Oh, oh geez, don't fall there, little Pam. Oh my goodness, okay. Oh, I know. I have to get like a denim jacket for her. Oh, we can put it in. We'll put it up here. Don't want a sticker. There. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Little Pam is wearing the Pam pin. She loves it. <laughs> I'll put her over there. She loves it. Oh wow. She sent all sorts of little things. Dear Renee, wishing you some stolen moments among the madness of the day. Thank you. I needed that. It it is crazy how hectic things can get. I, I'm very behind in a lot of things. And when you start thinking of all the things that you're behind in, I think you just get so overwhelmed. And that's when a nap comes in. So let's see, there's all sorts of little things in here. Oh my gosh, Pam's gonna love this too. It's a little keychain, but it's a journal, a little notebook. Oh my gosh. That has to go with Pam and there's paper inside. She's going to love it. We have a nice little angel playing the flute for Christmas. I have to add that to my decor. Some, they look handmade. More Christmas ornaments. These can actually go out, I think, any time of year. They're simple, but very pretty. These will look nice hanging in a window. And last but not least, oh, they're so cute. Look how cute these little guys, these little, these little angels are. They're so tiny. With their little wings. Hopefully you'll be able to see. Without focus. They are adorable. I can add these. I actually just started decorating for Christmas, but I can add those to my my little scenes. So thank you so much, Perio. It is so appreciated. And I wish you some quiet little moments as well. I'm sure when you are crafting, you get in that in that zone. So maybe I need to craft. <laughs> so also be on the lookout. I will get your package out to you this week. I think I finally have everything together. So thank you so much. And for those that have not checked out our channel, be sure to go and take a peek. You will be very happy. Next we have, this is from, it's actually from Steve in Durham, North Carolina. Now I must say that I know what is in here already uh, because Steve contacted me but I haven't looked at it. I don't know the whole, I just know what it is. But I'll leave that as a surprise for you as well. As I always say, bubble wrap, a gift unto itself because I reuse it all. That is a photo album. We'll, we'll let you guess what it could be of. I know, but I'm still excited. 
<laughs> Yellowstone Park. <laughs> All right, let's see what Steve has to say. Very nice card. Oh my goodness. I went online, tangent here, to cardstore.com. It's a website that I've purchased cards from in the past because I like the styles that they have. I like the, the content of the cards. I like the illustrations. And they're not in business anymore. I was, I was sad. <laughs> Because Hallmark just is not doing it for me. I don't know what it is. Maybe I'm too picky when it comes to cards. I'm not sure, but... Oh, how nice. Oh, Durham. Funny thing. I just remembered that with my job, I was there a year and a half ago. But it was only for a day. If you, if you can believe that. Anyway. Oh, boy. Um, hi, Renee. Pam. I've been watching your YouTube channel. Oh, Darren. It's not Durham. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> they even put it pronounced Durham. Durham. Oh, there. Now, now I sound like a local, right? Anyway, I've been watching your YouTube channel for a number of weeks now. Thank you. And really enjoy it. I am a trash picker. Yes. Flea market regular, eBay buyer, and former seller. Estate sailor, etc. Estate sailor. When I was a teenager, I used to bike the neighborhood on trash night looking for lawn mowers. I would love to bike around for trash. I found many. One time I missed one with a special kind of engine. The sanitation guys beat me by a few minutes. Oh, so my dad drove me down to the municipal lot after dark and we reclaimed it from the park truck. <laughs> found other cool things too. A machine that could record eight tracks from the stereo and radio. It was the 70s. That is awesome. Anyway, um... I often pick up black and white photos of old cars if I see them. About 10 years ago, a dealer at our flea market would bring photos for me. One day, he brought this album. I couldn't bring myself to separate it. It's been sitting around here for a long time, so I thought you might like it. It documents a cross-country trip some folks took from Somerset, New Jersey to many of the Western National Parks. The album is from Yellowstone, but there are only a handful of Yellowstone photos. I will take a handful any day. I tried to map the route on the map of the U.S. That's in there. I hope you enjoy it. That it has a good home with you, or you can just pass it, pass it to someone who will enjoy it intact. I think it'll, it'll stay here. <laughs> um, continued on the back. Continued success with the channel. Um, this building is a downtown Durham, Durham landmark disguise, disguised by the folk. Oh, disguised. Designed by the um, folk who did the Empire State Building. Oh, cool. Derm. I got that down pat. Uh, regards, Steve. Well, thank you, Steve. See, Steve collects photos of old cars. There are people out there that collect just specific things. Sometimes it's only a certain kind of car. Sometimes it's any car. Sometimes it's a photo of dogs. Sometimes it's a photo of cats. So the genre of ephemera reaches so many different people. And thank you. What was I going to say? Oh, Yellowstone. Yes. I had wanted to... Is this recording? Oh, good. Sorry. I, I was really hoping to go to Yellowstone this coming summer, but as I stated in one of my garbage picking videos about having to pay for a dental bill, yeah, that dental bill, um, I had to get a bridge. My bridge removed. A root canal on one of the teeth that is a part of the bridge. I'm going to need a crown on that. Rebuild the bridge, put a new bridge in, and that's to the tune of um, it's over five thousand dollars. I don't want to say the exact amount because it's rather embarrassing and I might cry. <laughs> but let's just say I could have taken many, many, many trips to Yellowstone with that. But so yes. I might have to live vicariously through this album, though I'm still going to try my hardest to get to Yellowstone this summer. This is thick. <gasps> Billings, Montana. Custer Bat. This is amazing. And you know what? These photos are so different. I was thinking of the little snapshots, but these are crazy. Beartooth Mountains. I'm supposed to be up by the Beartooth Pass. There's Yellowstone. Look, turn right to it. This is up in, um, oh jeez, 
the northwest Yellowstone. You probably can't see it. I might have to do a little uh, slideshow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Bear on the wall along the road in Yellowstone. They got rather... <gasps> They got rather close to this bear because unless they had some strong zoom, I'll just quick show you this. Luckily, this has the bendy, but I don't know if you'll be able to see it because of the glare. Look how close. Like, there's the bear. <laughs> There's still, I thought that was snow. The reason why I went <gasps> is these ladies are doing my favorite pastime at Old Faithful Inn. Oh, there is a glare. Now you can see it. And that is just sitting. I love to do that. That's probably one of my favorite things to do. That's one of like my top five things to do at Yellowstone is just sit in Old Faithful Inn and people watch because it is great. There are so many food store suggestions for campers. Hey, um, in my last mail video, someone sent me the full um, brochure. Now I have a part of it. What great, oh my gosh, they're touching it. They're touching, no, no, no. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm going to have to take pictures. Unless that's the lake. I don't think so. I, they're like, don't touch the geyser. Don't touch the little geyser. Don't do it. <laughs> How great. I'm gonna have to really take a good look at this. Maybe make a slideshow and put it on. Um, Cause this is amazing. So many people have loved. Oh, Red Lodge. I was there too. Oh my gosh. You know what would be really fun? Cause I think I took a picture. I have to look and see if I have like the same kind of, if I took the same pictures that these people took. How fun would that be? <laughs> this woman in some of these photos, she's like, why did I agree to this trip? Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, Steve. Pikes Peak or bust. That's the car. I'll, I'll, I'll take photos so you can see. Thank you so much, Steve. I am so grateful for this and this will stay with me and I will enjoy it and live vicariously through their, for, through their travel. So thank you. And good luck on your hunt for old photos as well. Last but not least, there. this was a big one. So this is from our friend, I don't want to pronounce your name wrong, which I think I did before when you previously sent a package. Um, Oyet, Oye, I'm so sorry. Um, from Ocala, Florida. I know you probably told me how to pronounce your name before. Please forgive me. I forget like what I'm supposed to do. I forget things from this morning. <laughs> All right, let's see. Dear Renee, such cute paper. I hope you are having a great time um, to what you love the most, ephemera. I was cleaning up my aunt's home. She has to live in an assisted living for Alzheimer's dementia facility. That happens to many people. I know someone that just did the same thing. I'm sending you... Um, I'm sending you all her cards uh, for different occasions. She is 78 years old. As I look through these, um, they're from the 1970s to 1990s. I hope you enjoy them. Make money out of it or do projects. I enjoy your YouTube videos. Take care. P.S. This is my second fan mail I sent you. I remembered. <laughs> so I remembered your name. And I thought, oh, this is so cute. It's little snails. Um, so please, please forgive me. But I did remember you. there. Oh, this flannel that I'm wearing is from my garbage house. Some of the clothes I actually was not able to fit. My shoulders were just too big, but the men's flannels, I could not part with them. I love the look and how worn in and comfy they are. Oh my goodness. Can you see this? This is full. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
If you want to cry, use my shoulder, cause what's inside? Baby, you're one year older. <laughs> they don't make cards. Oh, this is a sunshine card. They don't make cards like they used to. This is filled. Like filled. There's some oh, look how nice these are. The airmail envelopes. Eagle One announcements. This for a baby. Oh, they are. Thank you. Oh no. Thank. Thank you. Your thoughtfulness, as expressed by your lovely gift, is greatly appreciated. That's a mouthful. Never used. A really cute label on that. Oh no, we have some cards. Who's this? All sorts of things. Look how nice these are. Made in Denmark. Hankies? Napkins. 30 napkins. Best wishes for New Year. Can you believe it? We're almost done with 2020. We never thought it would it would get here. What is this lady? I've been saving it just for you. Happy birthday. What? It's just a little a little present. <laughs> she kept everything. Oh my gosh. That's a fool. Make some iced coffee, some tea, sit down. Oh, it's a little, um, oh man, it's funny. I've been coming across a lot of these lately. They're the beads that you can make all sorts of different things with. And this one is a wreath. Little Pam could use this too for her Christmas outfit that she does not have yet. <laughs> Maybe if she's been good, Santa will bring her a Christmas outfit. I mean, look, look at this. Made in Taiwan, Sears. Look at that box. I know that's not the reason why he sent it, but look how nice that box is. There's some more of the snail cards. Oh. What is this? At home, open for inspection. Oh, it's like a little housewarming party invitation. That is a darling with the little fishies. How cute. They don't, I, I've said this before, I'll say it again and I'll say it again and again. They don't do this anymore. Invitations are through Facebook or emails or e-cards. And I know that that saves paper, but I think you just lose so much of the personality of paper. Personality of paper, that's good. <laughs> I'm sure someone said it long before me, but you lose so much. That's why I was sad that I saw that card card store place was gone. Because their cards were nice. They they had more than just your, you know, your your typical typical things. And that's why I like them. Now they're not anymore. Oh my goodness. The cat Christmas cards. Santa. I won't have to buy Christmas cards ever again. Special bonus card. Oh, we have stickers. This is full. What's this one? Lots of letters, extra value. Some Hallmark. Oh, here it is. It's so, this is adorable. It's the, um, the snail paper. This is what she wrote my letter on. Look how cute. Little snail paper. There's another box in here. I mean, this is, this is cool. Chalk cool. What's this one? Please come. That's probably an invitation for a party. Oh, no cards. Index cards. Here's what's cooking. Recipes. Don't use an Instant Pot. I got one and it's awful. Unless any of you have great Instant Pot recipes to share with me, I can write them on here, but Instant Pot is not instant. 
If anything, you're waiting for the thing to heat up all the time. That's my that's my view on Instant Pot. I have some ribbon. Ooh, green ribbon. Celebrate it. And this is just full of cards. Unbelievable. There's some vintage, you know, some newer, but they will all be put to good use. Gibson Company. Pineapples. Those are always welcoming. Wow. Thank you so much. And thank you for thinking of me um, to send these to me. And I hope that all goes well um, in the um, assisted living facility. I know that that is a, a big change and can be a big change. But hopefully it's a positive change. And, you know, she, um, she understands and she makes friends and enjoys being there because that is that is a big a big help when they when they like where they're at, or they become I don't want to say used to it, but they're okay with it. But that they make friends and they see it as a, a new experience. And thank you for all this paper. It will be put to good use, I can assure you. Well, now. I need to do some sorting, some looking, make some tea again. Though I've been on the um, iced coffee, peppermint mocha iced coffee kick for a while. Not a while, like the past week, but it just tastes so good. And it gives me some energy to, to get things done. But thank you to everyone, all three of you. <laughs> Stay tuned for more mail videos. I have plenty more packages to go through. It's like Christmas every day when I do mail, and that's... I like that. It's enjoyable and I'm always so flattered and enamored by the kindness that you all have shown to me through everything that you have sent. Whether it's just a card with a note in it or it's a big package of cards. I appreciate any everything and as I always say, I hope that your kindness that you have shown me you know, returns to you 10, 20, 30 times over. I can't say that enough. So thank you again for watching. If you have you know, a hankering for flea market videos or estate sale videos, go check out my playlist and you can rewatch a video or maybe there's a new one, an old one, but new to you that you haven't seen yet. So be sure to check that out. So thanks again for watching. Thank you for all of the mail. I will see you all next time. Mm -hmm.